skin, Big Bandish. Hey everyone, it's Kylie Basuti here, and I just wanted to share an uplifting, encouraging message for you today. If you are struggling with acne or acne scars, or just body image issues, I just wanna share with you that there is hope. I remember days where I wouldn't even go out of the house without makeup. I didn't even wanna look at my own skin in the mirror without makeup because it would just make me feel so insecure and unhappy with myself. And I know that some of you watching this are feeling the same way and can completely relate. Back in high school also, I struggled with getting bullied. That was something that happened a lot when I was in school and every day I would come home from school just in tears because kids at school would be calling me anorexic and just really, really mean names. And I wasn't anorexic. I was actually doing everything I could to try and gain weight so that the kids would stop making fun of me. So if you are getting bullied or if you feel like you don't want to look at yourself in the mirror or you can't go out of the house without makeup or you just feel super insecure and worthless because of your acne or your scars or whatever it may be. I just want to share with you that there is hope and that you are truly beautiful just as you are. You are so much more beautiful than what is on the outside, what is on your skin. It's really about the heart. Your heart makes you beautiful. And really once I started focusing on my heart and focusing on changing the things of my heart that make me more beautiful, that's when I started to have confidence in myself. That's when I started to feel secure with who I was. When I started focusing on things like being more kind, not being envious of others or comparing myself to others. When I started just focusing on making sure that my heart was in a good place, making sure that I was loving others and being kind and sweet and honest and loyal. And once I started focusing on those things and started focusing less on the outer appearances and what was on my face, the more I became happy with who I was, the more that I became comfortable in my own skin. And I just wanna share this with you because for so long, I compared myself to other people. I would see images on social media or in magazines even and compare myself to those images and feel like I had to live up to those images. Even though I was a model at the time and was in some of those magazines, I would still look at other models' pictures or other people's pictures on social media and feel this need that I had to somehow live up to those images, somehow live up to the standard of beauty that our society puts on us. And it's really just a trap. Once you start comparing yourself to all of those images that you see and comparing yourself to all of the photoshopped and filtered images that are online, you really fall into this trap of feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like you can't live up to this standard of beauty that society has set for us. And so I just encourage you to stop comparing yourself. What I actually had to do was take a big break from social media and also stop looking at tabloids and magazines because those were the two places where I was comparing myself to other people. And it was just really healthy for me to take a step back from those things and make it so that I couldn't even do that. I couldn't even compare myself because it wasn't right in front of me. And I feel like this is so important for people nowadays because we're so glued to our phones and it's just constantly in our heads, constantly surrounding us. And so I think it's, it's a positive thing to take a healthy break from these things and just focus more on you, focus on your heart, focus on how you can become a better person, become a more loving person. And once you start focusing on those things, you will have so much more 
security, so much more fulfillment in your life. You will feel so much better about yourself. I just want to share with you guys that you as you are, are beautiful. You don't have to be like the images that you see on social media. You yourself are you're beautiful. And the images that you see are so filtered, so photoshopped, you know, fake hair, fake makeup, fake eyelashes, it's all there on social media. If there's a filter to get rid of every blemish, they have it. And, and you're seeing that in these images that you're looking at and comparing yourself to. You can't live up to it. You can't. I was a model. I was in lots of different magazines. And the images that came out of these magazines, when I would see them of myself, sometimes I wouldn't even recognize myself, you guys. They were so photoshopped. And I couldn't even live up to the images of myself. You have got to take the pressure off of yourselves. Stop trying to live up to these images because none of us can. These images are an illusion, simply an illusion. And when we look at these things, there's no way we can live up to them. So we have to start focusing on our inner selves, focusing on the inner beauty that outshines whatever's on the outside. What I do wanna say about acne and acne scars is that I understand how hard it can be and feeling like you wanna cover yourself when you have those things. I, I've been there, thankfully, I'm on the other side of it now and I want you to be on the other side of it too. So just know that you are beautiful inside and you don't have to live up to these images that you're seeing. You're beautiful as you are and I promise you that once you start focusing on that inner beauty, it will outshine everything and you will have so much more confidence in yourself and so much more happiness with who you are as a person. And as you stop focusing so much on the outer, which is what society says you have to be to be beautiful in this world, it's not true. Focus on the inner. That is truly what makes someone a beautiful person. So I hope this was encouraging for you today. I want you to know that you are so loved as you are. Please stop trying to change yourself to try and live up to the standard that our society has set for us because society standards are always changing. You know, one decade it's pencil thin eyebrows and the next decade it's thick bushy eyebrows. Everything is constantly changing and we can't live up to it. If we try to constantly change ourselves to fit in to this standard, um, we'll drive ourselves crazy and it's impossible to live up to. So just be yourself, be you, beautifully you because you truly are. There's a hope that's